Hello and welcome to this tutorial on the rollover cable. This is a fairly simple tutorial because we're looking at a fairly simple piece of hardware, namely the rollover cable itself. So let's answer this question to start things off. What is a rollover cable? And the answer is this is a cable used when you need to console into a Cisco router or a switch. So you're at a PC, a laptop, and you connect a rollover cable to it, and then you connect the other end to the router or the switch. Now this is just one of a few ways to access a router or a switch. You can telnet or you can SSH in on routers. You can also dial in using the auxiliary port. But we're just going to focus on the rollover cable and specifically use for consoling in to these devices. So next, we'll take a look at the pinouts to understand what makes a rollover cable what it is. And then finally, we'll just take a look at making connections, so the cable itself and some of the ports used on all of the different devices. So this is a diagram of the pinouts of a rollover cable. The two boxes at the end are the connectors, and they can differ, and we'll see how they differ in a little while. But for now, let's just assume these are two RJ45 connectors at the end of the cable. So there are eight wires in the cable, and on the left-hand side, you'll see they're numbered from the bottom, starting at one, going up to eight. But on the right-hand side, you'll see they start at number one at the top and go down to eight on the bottom. So the pinouts are the exact opposite on each side. So the pinout on the left-hand side, starting at one, goes to the eighth pinout on the right-hand side. And two goes to seven, three goes to six, so on and so forth. So they're flipped over. They're completely rolled over, and that gives you an indication of the name. So it's pretty straightforward. You don't really have to make these cables ever, but if you ever do, this is the pinout you'll have to follow. So let's have some pictures. This is a rollover cable. This particular one is issued by Cisco. You may have seen them around. They're always that sort of light blue-ish color. And here you'll see there's an RJ45 on one end and a DB9 on the other. And we can take a close-up. So the DB9 here is to connect to the PC or a laptop. And the serial connector on a PC is usually in the DB9 format. You don't usually see the RJ45, but you might. So Cisco is just making it easier here to connect to the PC. If you have a rollover cable that does have two RJ45s, then you just need to get a connector for one end. So here's the RJ45 side of it. So you could have different connectors. That's really the point to walk away from. And this is a close-up of the console port on a Cisco router. And on routers and switches, they are always labeled, and there's that slight bluish color as well, just to help you out to color coordinate. And finally, moving on, on this particular laptop, you can see on the back side here, this is the serial connector, and this is where the DB9 would connect to. And that's it, folks. That is the rollover cable. Thanks for watching.